Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Tuesday, February 4th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 4th of February does not mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this message, then that's most likely going to be a message for you at that time. Now, however, if you are an avid morning coffee watcher and you watch every morning just because you watch every morning first of all i thank you very much but second of all um <clears throat> if this reading if you find that this doesn't necessarily resonate with you i would encourage you to check back later or at least if you're guided to you know go back in the archives a little bit i would encourage you to do so because there's most likely going to be a message there for you if your intuition is guiding you towards it and i would recommend that you um that you focus on the title of the reading at that point, not on the date, okay? Just on the title, because the title is going to give you that that high sign that, hey, this is the one, okay? Awesome. Um, so I'm having I'm having a uh, a late start day again. Um, I had one of those mornings where I woke up at like at like after sometime late after three a.m. Um, and couldn't go back to sleep, didn't go back to sleep until like about five-ish or something. And then of course that just threw my whole system off. And then on top of that, I had a, right before I woke up, I had a little bit of a nightmare. It wasn't necessarily like a nightmare per se, but it was, <coughs> oh, excuse me. It was a really bad, um, it was just a bad dream. It was a bad dream. And so that kind of like, that put me into a, little, a, a bit of an icky mood. So I apologize if if you're if you if it sounds like my energy is a little bit low or I'm a bit subdued today I'm I'm a little in a in a fog um, but it's okay I'm I'm clear enough to to do this reading for you guys but one of my high points this morning is as many of you know I've switched to tea recently as like the first beverage in the morning just because it's easier on my body and because I was going through like a trying to like repopulate my We'll call it my gut flora, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and and do, but doing that, I didn't want to have coffee the first thing in the morning because that was just going to destroy <laughs> what I was trying to do. But I've switched to tea, and one of my best friends, Natalie, you guys know of her by now. Many of you do at least. She just came back from Dubai. She was visiting her sister and some family out there, and she brought me back some Turkish tea with um, an assortment of different flavored honeys. Today I have Turkish tea with um, maple oak honey, I believe it is, and it's fantastic and it's delicious and I love her for it. Mm. Yummy. Okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, one last thing that I want to mention. We are doing happy hour tonight. Uh, not tonight, tomorrow. We're doing happy hour tomorrow, Wednesday night, uh, Wednesday, January 5th. The floor is not open yet, but I wanted to put that on your radar. I meant to do that yesterday. I didn't get to it till the very end of the reading. But this is something that I want to um, announce in the very beginning so that everybody has an equal chance to hear it and to, you know, we all have an equal opportunity to be a part of the event. I'm excited. It's going to be our first happy hour of the month. Um, and there's going to be an unboxing because I believe there are a number of packages for me to open up. I will be checking that either today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, happy hour tomorrow night with a happy hour pre-game show on Instagram Live, which I am going to be able to save and upload here to YouTube afterwards. So keep in mind, with keep that in mind. Ooh, one more thing. As many of you have heard me say in the past, I'm working on a membership, some membership options for the channel. So if you want to um, you know, show support to the channel or become a member of the channel. I'm working on developing a bunch of perks and stuff. It's not something I'm really looking to rush. I kind of wanted to start it, get it started at least this month with just like one tier just for those who wanted to show support, but setting it up is m more complicated than I had anticipated. And I need to, I kind of need to have like a full plan together before I really release it, which is okay. Um, so it's just gonna take a little more time. But one of the perks that I'm thinking of offering is um, a membership option or a membership only option where you get access to 
any of the Instagram live readings and story times and whatnot that I do there. And then I upload, re-upload here. So um, I'm going to start doing more live sessions and all that. And as that continues, you know, if it's if you guys really enjoy it, it is eventually going to become a members only option. And I believe it's only it's on, I believe I'm putting it on like the first tier, which is only going to be like five dollars a month. So you get certain things plus you get that. So that's something else to put on your radar too, and to think about it. And as I'm developing this, if any of you have any ideas as to what you might want to have as a perk for membership, I would love to hear from you. If you want to email me, emailing me would be great. Um, you could leave a comment here. Well, I, you could leave a comment here, but that's going to get really, that, that's really going to get lost. So if you really wanted to like give me any sort of like options or whatnot, or your opinion on something, it would probably be best to email me because then that way, you know, it, it won't be so easy for me to lose that information on you. Yeah. Also, I tried one thing. I turned down my mic a little bit today. So let me, you guys let me know in the comment section how the sound is. I, I don't have the ability to like monitor that right now, even though I'm working on it. Um, it's a little more complicated of a setup than I'm ready for. <clears throat> but anyway, you guys let me know how it sounds for you. Let me know if you can hear that high pitched whining again. If that's the case, now that I've turned down the mic and that, that, if that's the case that I'm going to have to figure something out again, that high pitched whine that you guys hear a lot of the time, that's the circuitry of my motherboard. Um, I recently built myself a PC. I moved away from Mac and I, you know, I, 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 I assembled all the pieces and I put them together like big expensive Legos. <laughs> but with my PC, the, the sound situation is a little bit different for me to be able to get rid of that high pitched whine. I'm going to have to, to plug in an, an audio interface, which I have, but then that means I have to set up a mic and that takes away from my desk space. So it's pretty complicated. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm going, I'm doing as best as I can, but if you can hear that, just let me know what the sound is like now that I've turned the mic down a little bit. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to get into your pre shuffle energies. What you have here is the page of pentacles. All right. So this is the only card that has fallen out. And then you have overall energy, which obviously is the page of swords, as you can see. But let's talk about this page of pentacles first, because the page of pentacles is speaking to a brand new life, um, something new, uh, the, the new chapter to your life. The, the next, this is speaking to you being in apprenticeship level or having just reached a new level in your life and 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 desperately i want to say desperately trying to find your footing there is a sense of urgency with this energy right now especially with the page of swords but then on the other side of the deck is the nine of wands okay i really feel like there are a lot of you out there that are reaching this new level in your life reaching this new phase in your life having having leveled up and now you're trying to find your footing the biggest thing that I'm feeling for you is you are allowing circumstances from the past to kind of cause you to look over your shoulder to, or to be really hesitant or to be really guarded. And what I kind of, and the feeling that I'm getting from this for you is that you don't have to be this guarded in this new level. I understand that you're still kind of um, moving through some of the past experiences that it led you here. And those experiences absolutely were things that you that were necessary for you to get to this new level. But the thing that I want to say is now that you're at this new level, a lot of the things that you were that that um, a lot of the things that you are looking over your shoulder for are I want to say no longer exist, are no longer existent, are no longer a part of um, the reality that you find yourself in. Those were elements of an old, outdated reality that you have successfully pulled your way out of. Okay, now. Again, I feel like this is mostly for people that have very recently breached a new level of awareness, consciousness, reality, whatnot, whatever, have really stepped up and leveled up on, uh, you know, into this new system because you, you're still, you're still working from a little bit of that conditioning or a little bit of that mindset of this is something I have to watch out for. It's going to take a little bit of time. Um, eventually this energy will subside, but I just want to, and the, I guess the reason why spirit is bringing this up right now is because they want you to start letting go of that and start recognizing that for what it is as soon as possible. Okay. Because the longer that you are consciously aware of it, the longer that you are consciously preparing for it, the longer it's going to take for that to, for that energy to subside from your system. Okay. Yields. Yields. Okie dokie. 
cool but other either way that's still a good energy because you have in fact breached a new level you are in a new level or a state of higher awareness or you're in a new reality here so this is a good thing this is what you wanted all along again there's still just this last bit of um it's energy energy doesn't like energy doesn't work like a light switch okay um where you know you flip a switch and it's off or you flip a switch and it's on and there's nothing in between energy is fluid all right so like take the moon cycles or the moon phases for example when we hit we'll say a full moon there is um a, a pre there's like a pre-energetic period as we're starting to end to get closer and closer and closer to the actual event of the full moon in which people start to feel the effects then and then there's the post period where we move further and further away from the full from the event and people still feel the energy there just like this retrograde mercury is about to go retrograde this month and we have the and someone pointed this out to me yesterday i guess because my i was having trouble with my camera focusing but i always have trouble with my camera focusing but um like mercury is about to go in retrograde and we have a pre-shadow period or a pre-period for mercury going into retrograde then we have the full few weeks in which mercury is in retrograde 11 11 mercury is in ret retrograde and then we have the post the shadow period in which um you know we're moving away from that energy and things are starting to stable out but we it slowly tapers off energy is not again not like a light switch there are the, the, you 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 phase in and you phase out of it it's like a, it's basically it's a wave it's something that comes and goes in in cycles you know what i mean so think of it that way at with you yourself or whomever this is for transitioning you've made it into this new energy but you know you're still kind of close to the border of the past energy right so you still are kind of feeling the effects of that a little a little bit the more and more you move deeper and deeper into this new phase into this new level the further and further away you'll get from all of those elements that you're still kind of watching your back for make sense cool 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 so I'm gonna give this one more shuffle with that said and then we're gonna get into the rest of the reading for today alrighty here we go hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, February 4th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Um... I'm going to give this three shuffles. I want to say, though, that I, f I really feel like the, the universe really wants to bring forward a message of, like, we've got your back. You're good. You don't have to. You really don't have to worry. All of the f apprehension and all of the fears that you are experiencing right now is literally from the past circumstances, your, your past situations. It's literally just past conditioning. We have got your back. You don't have to worry, okay? Everything is going to be... I'm going to try that again. Everything is going to be just fine. This is last shuffle. Okay. <laughs> We're going to leave it like that. Alrighty, kids. Let's see what we have for your 4th of February. February 4th, 2020 collective messages please spirit i feel like this is going to be a pretty light message um i'm, gonna, I'm just going to do this being instructed to do this one more time february 4th 2020 okay oh, oh, oh. see now all the now all the cards want to come out okay we're going to stop there all right. Oh, oh, okay. Well, overall energy is the chariot. That's a good thing. And but 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 then you have the ten of wands at the other side of the deck. All right. You have the wheel of fortune. You have the ace of pentacles, but the ace of pentacles is in reverse. And you have the eight of swords. You then have the two of pentacles, strength, the ace of cups, with the four of cups and the queen of cups.
Interesting. Oh boy, um... Oh. This is taking a turn... ...to an energy that's a little heartbreaking. Um, you have, with the Wheel of Fortune here, you have an, a cycle of death and rebirth, and you have something that's almost, I want to say, kind of destined to be here. But then you have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and with the Eight of Swords upright. Luckily, it is the side of the Eight of Swords in which we see that this person or this woman that's bound like this has the freedom, represented by that eagle, to cut herself free. And it's like an, an offer won't be made or an offer cannot be made, an offer cannot come through unless someone cuts themselves free from some sort of mental prison. So this could be an energy in which you are standing at the precipice of a brand new idea, a brand new option, a brand new life, a brand new offer of commitment, maybe a brand new job or um, a, a, a new start of a career path or something, but it is being blocked because you are still or someone here is still in an energy of fighting against old habits is what i just heard which takes me to this side two of pentacles strength the ace of cups but it's the nighttime scene of the ace of cups and then we have the four of cups with the queen of cups and I almost get an I, I, I get a feeling that someone could be missing out on an opportunity because they are ignoring their emotions and they're keeping up some sort of appearance. I feel like with this strength card here, this individual is using their ability to tame their ego or something to the detriment of themselves. They're using it and it's... And this is not in reverse, so okay, I guess that's fine, but I almost, what I want to say is what this feels like to me is like they're using their, their, their control over their own self to stop themselves from expressing some sort of love to someone. And they could, and there could be an element of a missed opportunity because of that. With the overall energy being the chariot here, there is some sort of incentive or some sort of forward movement, but it's being hindered by the Ten of Wands. Someone is still holding on to something. I feel like someone here is, is refusing to let a karmic cycle close out between you and someone else. And it definitely feels like the feminine here. It definitely feels like the feminine. There could be an energy in which someone really may be trying to approach you here. Ace of Cups. It's a nighttime scene. So it's probably something that's not too consciously, you're not too consciously aware of. Or maybe it's something you're not trying to acknowledge. But you see that figure over there? Mr. McCreepypants? <laughs> that's sneaking up? Or it's, maybe they're not sneaking up. Maybe they are coming forward genuinely, but there isn't much light to illuminate anything at the moment. And so it maybe it feels like they are waiting patiently for you to like warm up a little bit, maybe. But it is elements and burdens from the past that are keep and, and it's interesting. It's interesting because this feels very much where like where I was last year. Where I was playing over this karmic cycle or this karmic victimhood over and over and over throughout the course of the year. Now, granted, slowly but surely, I was healing from it. It wasn't something that I could rush myself out of, but, but it was difficult, and it was, in fact, blocking a new beginning from even beginning to be planted, let alone sprout, okay? So I'm not sitting here trying to tell anybody that they need to, like, hurry up and get over it, but Spirit is wanting me to bring this forward because they're wanting to make... You need to be aware of the fact that this is happening so that you can start to do something about it. And the one thing I want to say that you need to do first and foremost is to start letting go of the baggage, releasing the burdens that you're carrying. 
um, stop putting on this po dog and pony show, trying to make every seem everything seem like it's okay. Stop trying to beat your emotions back, or maybe not beat your emotions back. I don't feel like you're being all that rough or angry or mean with yourself. I do feel like you're being compassionate with yourself, and maybe that's why the strength card here is not in reverse, but it's upright. But I just get this feeling that this lion here is representing some sort of feeling, some sort of emotion, some sort of part of yourself that you are wanting to let free, but you're really not allowing it right now. I really kind of feel like with the Queen of Cups here, with her back turned, I just get the feeling in this moment that you are that you are not you are either not acknowledging your emotions, which technically would be worse, or you are just keeping them at bay. And again, I'm going to say this, this feels very similar to where I was last year. Now, if many of you know me already, and if you're new to the channel, hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm Eric, but I'm a, I'm a twin flame and I've been on a twin flame. I've been officially on the twin flame path for about two years now. And last year I went through a period where I absolutely hated and resented my divine masculine and the twin flame journey mainly because though mainly because i went i mean we went through all of this triggering and all this purging which ultimately led to a bunch of healing um but i was so angry because of all because of how rough that situation was and yet no matter how i spun it i still love him I still loved him and I still love him to this day. And what made me so angry back then was the fact that I still wanted to be with him and I still loved him so much, even though I was so damn hurt and angry. Now, in hindsight, I'm no longer, like at this point, I'm no longer angry with him. I still love him very, very much. I still wanna be with him. I've gotten over all of that stuff, but at, in hindsight, I can see now why all of those things happened because ultimately it led me to do, and I'm speaking for myself here, I can't speak for him. He would need to speak for himself on, this, on, on that side, but since we are mirrors of each other, I can only imagine that in me being able to do some really massive and serious healing in in ways that now that i think about it when i was when i was acting and living my life from these from these periods or these spaces of pain and trauma and heartbreak i never thought i would ever get away from it but my divine masculine my twin flame helped me really dig down and excavate all of those wounds and dig up all those old wounds and everything um, and heal them. And I'm not to say not to say I'm completely healed right now, but I mean, there's always going to be more to do. But let me tell you, I am in such a healed space now. I'm in a much more healthy and balanced and whole space now than I have ever been in my lifetime before this. I'm sharing all that with you because I feel like that is what's going on here. With some, I'm sorry. I feel like this is a divine. This is a message for the divine feminine. And if you're new to the channel, or if you haven't checked it out yet, if you haven't gotten around to watching it yet, I highly, highly recommend. If you are a divine feminine on a twin flame journey and you're resonating with this message right here, I highly recommend that you watch my latest twin flame story live streams um re recast it's like an hour and 20 minutes long and yes there is a card pull at the very end of it but it's there is a message in there for the divine feminine that if you are resonating with this right now you need to hear that because it is a message specifically that has specifically come through for someone like you that is in this position here okay there is no judgment uh, we're not we're not trying to tell you to suck it up and get over it blah 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 no there is no judgment but if you are struggling with this, if you're in this energy right now of keeping up the dog and pony show, knowing that there's love trying to come forward for you, even if it's not necessarily happening in the physical, obviously it's not happening in the physical. You have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse, but you do have the Ace of Cups upright, okay? Love is here for you. It's coming forward for you. But you have to release the old habits. You have to release the old burdens. Or it's not going to come. And it's not, that's not, that's not an ultimatum. That's not, that's not like trying to say, oh, well, if you don't do this, we're going to punish you. It's a situation in which the vibration is right. It, you, like you're, you're not letting it in. You're blocking it away. 
and with this wheel of fortune energy here there's this is this side of the wheel of fortune kind of represents death and rebirth and the universe is it's almost like the universe is waiting for you to put a cycle to rest they can only do so much you have to be the one to consciously release something release some sort of cycle okay so let's get into the um the clarification section and it's very interesting because I wanted to go with a different clarifying deck. I have been using the um, the Light Seers Tarot, but I wanted to go with something different today. And immediately my eyes landed on the Crystal Visions deck, but I was like, mm, I hesitated for a little bit because it didn't give me that, oh my God, yes, we're using this one today. But, <laughs> but then once I did cho choose it, my crown chakra just open wide up so i was like okay well i guess that's i guess that's the right one so um and this is very much the imagery here to me gives off a very feminine feel so so it's perfect that i chose this deck or that spirit had me use this deck today because we are in fact talking to the feminine today all right feminines one last shuffle and then i want to look into this wheel of fortune eight of swords with the ace of pentacles in reverse let's get a little bit let's dive a little bit deeper into this for you feminines here two of pentacles again interesting all right so here's the deal here's the deal because what i'm getting from the two of pentacles now is um it's taking me over to where the two of pentacles came out with the strength card and i feel like you are yeah there it is right there okay so what i feel like is going on here for you guys is the reason why you might be i, I do want to say unintentionally blocking the situation i don't feel like you're physically making every move that you can in order to specifically block whatever is trying to come forward towards you and again this is start this is starting on an energetic basis okay it's energy coming through for you first and then you feel through that and then eventually the momentum builds to a point where it manifests in your life in a physical form but uh, right now i feel like you are in the process of balancing yourself out you're trying to find some sort of greater balance in your life um okay yeah all right cool and then there's the moon at the bottom of the deck so okay okay this makes sense now what is happening here what i feel like is happening here for you feminines is that you're dealing with well first of all what i want to say is to the masculines out there that are watching this that are dealing with a situation in which your feminine is kind of like closed off to you um doesn't really want to speak to you right now is kind of in her own space has very much gone into hermit mode potentially um and you're kind of wondering what's going on and you're hearing all this and maybe you're starting to freak out because maybe you're thinking she's leaving you for good or something like that she's pulled away from you because she's dealing with her own demons she's dealing with her own stuff and what the moon is saying here first and foremost the strongest message the moon is what the moon is saying is things are not as they seem okay just because this individual may have pulled away from you or maybe she's, she's pulled away from you energetically even if like say you guys are in separation the reason why that's happening is because she is working on her own shit she's working on moving through her own illusions her own fears her own anxieties her own trepidations and she's trying to find balance two of pentacles with the six of swords all right so masculine chill out <laughs> i mean i'm talking to you right now and this is what I, this is something that's coming out too. I understand that there are some of you out there that are feeling very protective. And it's like, no, I don't want her to pull away from me. I want her to come to me. I want her to, I want to help her. I want to be there for her. I want to protect her. I want to, I, I want to hold her. I want to console her. I don't want her to do this alone. Thank you, masculine. Thank you. I, as a feminine, extremely appreciate that. But this is something she needs to do on her own. She needs to find her own sense of stability and groundedness without you. And that is not meant to be mean. It's not meant to be malicious. Even for the feminine that's listening to this and saying, oh, I don't necessarily want to do this alone. You have to. You have got to find your sense of stability and grounding on your own. You cannot look to external influences or circumstances or people to help to, to 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 provide you with that stability you have to be able to find this stability this groundedness and this balance on your own which means that you have to work on 
moving away from whatever rough waters you're experiencing on your own to calmer waters. And then, then the masculine can come in and say, hey, baby, are you okay? Like, where did you go? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. And you know what? I'm much better now. And I'm really glad you're here. Make sense, guys? Okay, so it's not as bad as I had initially thought. So there is an energy of, yes, keeping up the dog and pony show or keeping up appearance right now. Um, that's all in uh, taming your ego. Okay, so this is an energy where, okay, you're taming your ego or maybe you're taming your emotions a little bit. You're not trying to show your emotions right now. That could be a good thing. It really could be a good thing because maybe, maybe if you were to do that, things would get a little volatile and then we'd have an even bigger mess to clean up, right? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna give this three more shuffles and we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at this. Two of Pentacles, Strength, Ace of Cups, Four of Cups, Queen of Cups. So with the Four of Cups here, now that the energy, now that I've defined this a little bit more, I've clarified this a little more, I'm seeing a little deeper into it, this Four of Cups energy doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to miss an opportunity. It does mean that it's a similar energy to this Six of Swords in which you're sailing away from things that no longer serve you. Oh, this is much better. This is much, much better than I thought it was in the beginning. Now that I'm like reading through this a little, a little more. One last shuffle here. So it's kind of now in hindsight or in retrospect, it kind of looks like you guys are doing the work to clear the burdens, 10 of wands, to clear whatever it is that's the baggage or the burdens that's been holding you back in terms of moving forward with what it is you truly want, with what it is your heart's desire is. And the, the chariot is all about balance, bringing yourself into balance emotionally, mentally, physically, whatnot, whatever, and using that energy to propel you forward. Because the chariot, the chariot is a very fast moving energy, okay? As when, it's, when it's grounded and balanced, I mean, it's the fastest moving energy in the deck. I want to, in my opinion, at least as a reader, that's how I see it. Because it's very much an energy of, um, you know, once you're in balance, once you're in, har in harmony, once you're in union with yourself and you're in alignment with yourself, there is literally nothing that can stop you other than your own self, right? All right, so let's look into this. Two of Pentacles, uh, strength. And I do, I do want to point out here that you have this infinity symbol on both the two of pentacles and strength here. So to me, that's giving um, an energy of, you have plenty of time, plenty of resources in order to get this done or to do whatever it is you need to do. But you have the two of pentacles, you have the, the uh, strength card, you have ace of cups, four of cups, and the queen of cups. So let's get a little bit more clarity into this for you divine feminines out there, or just feminine. Maybe if you don't necessarily want to live up to the whole divine thing and you just want to be in a your average feminine there ain't nothing wrong with that oh good Ooh, okay looky here okay looky here feminines your overall energy is the eight of swords again okay and what spirit is saying to you here is your king of pentacles will show up you will get your king of pentacles you will get your strong sturdy stable masculine or divine masculine you get you'll get your partner you'll get the soulmate that will commit to you that will hold you down that will be there for you you some of you may already even have this individual in your life already which is kind of what i was picking up on you will get this but you have to cut yourself free from the illusions from the emotions from the past first you have to because this energy, the Eight of Swords, is what's keeping you from reaching your wish fulfillment or your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment in a King of Pentacles. And sure, for some of you, this is like, oh, I want someone with a lot of money. Okay, you, might, you may very well manifest that, but that's not the strongest energy that I'm getting from this, okay? Obviously, the King of Pentacles could very well be someone that is well-to-do, that is very well established, you know, very well manifested, very financially stable, very financially, you know, solvent, I guess. Is that the word? I don't know. But 
maybe that's not the word financially i don't know he's fight he's well off like he could he could very well have a lot of money okay but that is not the biggest focus here and i would caution anyone that's trying to be a gold digger mm, i don't know that might come back to bite you in the ass later but the thing that i'm really getting from this is a stable secure grounded masculine that is willing to be committed to you and that is willing to do what it is you to, willing to be there for you willing to take care of you okay the king of pentacles can be can be just as much of a nurturer as the as the queen of pentacles it's just he would do it in a different way because this is the masculine side of things but he is the husband the father the committed one the one that would do damn near anything for his family right you will get this but you have to re release yourself from the burdens and the fear and the strife you have to release yourself from all of the things that are holding you back from that because at this point feminines for whomever is resonating with this you are the only one standing in your way with this for some of you it is intentional because you are working on gaining some sort of balance six of swords leaving some sort of energies of the past behind for others of you it kind of feels like you may be wallowing in this and you need to recognize that the more you wallow in the past, the more you're looking over your shoulder at things that are no longer a part of your life or an element of your existence, the more you are keeping that energy active in your system, okay? So it, all you really need to do at that point or with that said is just start working on moving forward and releasing those things, yes? Okay. Excuse my snotty, snotty nose. All right. <laughs> um, I'm going to get, I want to get a final closing message for you feminines out there. And then, okay. And then we're going to get our Oracle guidance from the unicorns today. And I'm so super excited that they've jumped out that they, oh my God. I am so excited about that. All right, here we go. One last shuffle. Because I really feel like what's coming through at this is that whomever this is for, you really you really need a really uplifting message right now. And that and the unicorns, the unicorns have the potential to really bring that forward today. So closing message, please, spirit. Justice. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. And the Queen of Cups with the Knight of Cups. You see, guys, look. Spirit's not trying to lie to you. Overall energy is the Ace of Swords. Find your clarity, feminine. Find your clarity and hold on to that clarity. Hold on to the truth, divine feminine. The truth, the truth, hold on, wait for it, 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 come on now. <laughs> the truth shall set you free. Ace of Swords, Eight of Swords. Use this Ace of Swords that represents the truth to cut you free from this Eight of Swords energy. Again, some of you are actively doing this, yes. Others of you are still kind of caught in, trapped in the illusion, trapped in the Maya, and you have to recognize that you are the, the Maya, the Maya, the Maya, the Maya, however you want to describe it. You have to recognize that you are the only person that can cut you free from any sort of mental prison or any sort of clutches of the devil. You, and only you, can protect against forest fires. <laughs> okay. So you have to be the one to put out those fires yourself. Nip them in the bud before they even start. And that's kind of part of your new role here in this new level, this new, this new identity. You know what I mean? You have the awareness. You should know by now that your thoughts create your reality. So if you're in this new reality, feminine or divine feminine, however you want to describe yourself, if you're in this new reality, then it's it would behoove you to really keep your thoughts in check and not let them run amok any longer, like maybe they used to, okay? But justice is going to be served here, Divine Feminine. Justice is going to be served. If as long as you stay clear on what the truth is and you stay in alignment to that, you're gonna get your heart's desire. Justice, Queen of Cups to the Knight of Cups. You're going to get the love that you deserve. De de wow, the love that you <laughs> deserve, the love that you wish to receive. That was that was deceive. That was a that was a cross between deserve and receive. <laughs> anyway, 
You get it, right? But you have to stay in alignment with it. And you cannot let external influences, the 3D, dictate how you feel, dictate what your alignment is. And even if you are connected with someone and you're observing some things and you want the, you you know you want them, you you're you feel very strongly that they're your person, and yet there are circumstances or there are situations that are popping off right now with that person that go in direct opposition to what it is you feel for them or what you see coming with them, then don't worry about it. Don't focus on that. And instead of focusing on that individual, remove your focus from that individual and just be general and open about it. Because if you are focused too much on that individual, if you are holding too tight to that individual or that certain circumstance or even a certain outcome or a certain timeline for that outcome, then you are, you are putting resistance into the situation. You need to just let go of it, stop focusing on it so much, and instead put all of that intent focus on how you feel. And maintain an energy of feeling as good as possible as, for as long as possible and as often as possible. Obviously, it can't be 24-7, 365. You are a human being, okay? We do experience all kinds of a, a myriad of different emotions at any given moment. But it is your responsibility to make sure that you hold your own, that you hold your emotions. Don't push them away. Don't try to hide them. Feel through them, but keep them under control. You are at the level right now where you are perfectly, perfectly capable of doing that. So now it's time you start because you have to, because that's how this new level works. Are you getting what I'm saying? Okay. It's going to come to you, honey. You just have to be patient with it. You have to be patient with him. You have to be patient with yourself. You have to be, maybe you have to be patient with her. But when I say him, I'm speaking to the masculine because I'm speaking of the masculine, which could be a man or a woman. All right. But. We're not talking gender, we're talking energy here. But you have to be patient with yourself, you have to be patient with him, and you have to be patient with the circumstances. Everything happens in divine timing. Yes? All right. Let's get your oracle guidance today, and we are using the oracle of the unicorns. I am so excited. All right, one last shuffle. One last shuffle here. All right. What oracle guidance do you have for the feminines right now, dear unicorns and spirit? What is your oracle guidance? What is your oracle guidance for the feminines right now? Ooh. Okay. All right. Looky here now. Looky here. You have prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. So, okay, for some of you, this is a situation in which you are, in fact, dealing with a new, um, a new career choice, um, money, job, whatnot, whatever. I want to read from the book, and rarely do I read from the book with this deck, but I definitely want to read it today. Okay. Here we go. Prosperity. This unicorn brings news of a financial blessing. A period of good fortune is opening to you, opening for you. If your flow of money has, been, has felt blocked recently, this is a sign that abundance is returning to your life. If you have been working towards an increase in your income, it's a sign that your breakthrough will be happening soon. Let go of any worry or impatience, as this will only slow down your supply. Instead, imagine the money you desire is already in your bank account and feel the way you would if you already had plenty to spend, save, and share. Let yourself feel relaxed, uh, relieved, happy, grateful, and excited, regardless of the numbers in front of you. Trust that these good feelings and positive expectations will help activate your prosperity more than any fear will. As you focus on your new financial reality, follow your guidance on taking action, whether it's organizing your accounts, asking for a raise, or creating a new product in your business. Work on clearing any limiting blocks or beliefs about wealth so you can create a clear channel through which funds can manifest. 
The divine is, is your source of financial prosperity. It is time for you to open up to your flow and receive. And I really do feel like this message rings true for anything, not just financial abundance, but prosperity in all ways, in love, in create, your creativity, in career, finances, whatnot, anything. But the central message of that card was, do not focus on the fear. Focus on nothing else but what it is you truly want. Don't give your time and attention to anything other than that. Okay? Okay. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, one thing I want to say before we really close this, this could seriously be an energy in which we are speaking to the feminine energy within you. So maybe you're a man or you're a, a, someone that identifies more with masculine energy. And this was a message. This could have been a message for your inner feminine energies, especially if you're on that path of integrating your inner feminine energies. The feminine here within you is being asked to release the fears and to be in the receptive mode that is necessary for you to receive that which you're trying to manifest in your life. Okay. I wanted to clear that up. Um, hopefully the right people got that message. I hope someone that maybe needed that message didn't click off too early, but if that's the case, then oh well, they're lost. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>